All right, someone asked me to solve for y in this equation here, y minus 3x equals 1. So what we want to do is get y all by itself. So what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So this negative 3x, if I could get rid of that, y would be by itself. Why don't I add 3x here to this side, because 3x plus negative 3x, that's 0. But I have to do it over here too, because this is algebra, so plus 3x. So 3x plus negative 3x, or 3x minus 3x, that leaves y all by itself. That's what we wanted to do. And then we have 1 plus 3x here, and that's our answer. y equals 1 plus 3x. Often we'd write this as y equals 3x plus 1, because that's slope-intercept form. If you wanted to graph this, it'd be a lot easier to graph it this way. If you need to graph it, y equals 3x plus 1. There's a link at the end of this video. It's Dr. B solving for y when you have y minus 3x equals 1. Thanks for watching.